Hi guys, so I know it's been a minute, um, but here's an update. I had surgery done. Da -da -da -da. It hurts like hell. Um, but so, <clears throat> um, like I said in my last video, that they couldn't tell because they could not get enough from uh, the last biopsy they did. So they had to do a different biopsy by cutting it open and going down into my throat and like taking, uh, the way they explained it was taking bites out of my lymph nodes. <clears throat> uh, but she first wanted, the new surgeon first wanted to try uh, the needle down the throat again biopsy, the one that they already did to see if she could. And the good thing about that was that when she was doing it, um, she was able to get the results right then and there. Um, now when she did it, if she was not able to get the results right then and there and it was inconclusive, then they were going to cut me open and do that. Well, those came back inconclusive, inconclusive again, so she had to cut me open. And like I said, took big chunks out and they were able to find it. And um, it's not in all of my lymph nodes. Um, well, it's in my lymph nodes, but not all of them have granulomas. Uh, she found small granulomas growing in some of them that she had taken out. Um, and she is, to her, she is 100% sure that it is sarcardosis. Now, um, she diagnosed it. She's like, it is sarcardosis. Um, but we're going to wait for the labs to come back just to be 100% sure because you you are forming granulomas in there now sarcardosis from my understanding and I have been researching it like you guys know from the beginning um, it's like a form of cancer but it's not they don't classify it as cancer because they know nothing about it they don't know how you get it they don't know how to cure it they know nothing about it they don't know how it spreads they don't know anything it's that rare of a a disease <laughs> um, and it can attack any part of your body it can go into your bone marrow it can go into your blood it can go and attack other parts of your body um, it is um, because of the lymph nodes right now um, it is doing something to my liver and my kidneys um, I've never had problems with my kidneys or my liver before <laughs> Um, so it's just starting. They just caught it. And since they just caught caught it and they caught the beginning stages, um, I'm hoping that they are able to do a little bit more. Now, um, like I said, they don't classify it as a cancer yet uh, because they don't know that much about it. But to treat it, it is steroids and chemo. Um, now, the form of chemo is through the pill form is um, what it is and what a lot of people are taking. Um, but mine, um, I'm very, very blessed because as you guys know, I went vegan um, after the C-section and almost dying from the pulmonary embolism and me deciding I needed to lose weight because of uh, just everything. So that really did save my life um, because with sarcardosis, it feeds on horrible eating habits. It gets worse. So going vegan it saved my life like I can it's like I cannot be more proud of myself or more in awe of my of of it of because it saved my life and it's also helping um, my diet and exercise is also helping because um, the lymph nodes have shrunken from the first size that they had found it at I uh, don't mind the wiggling it's because of the camera you guys sorry I have the way that I have it hooked up um, so yeah so the lymph nodes have been shrinking since they have found it um, in the beginning which was about five months ago so that's really great and <clears throat> That is from my diet. That is from being vegan and taking out all of that processed and meat. Because meat, it feeds on dead flesh like that. And that's meat because you're literally putting dead flesh into your mouth. <laughs> so because of that, um, I'm so thankful. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know, you know, but whatever I'm doing is working because it's shrinking uh, 
the parts of it. So that is fantastic. So, and I joined a couple of Facebook groups for sarcoidosis and getting to know and met some amazing people so far. And another lady that has gone through the same way that I have, they thought it was cancer and they made her do the biopsy and um, she has it in her lymph nodes, which is um, the same as mine. I'm hoping that it's not spread anywhere else. I'm praying that it stays in my lymph nodes because I can totally, you know, that's just, you know, I'm just hoping it doesn't spread anywhere else because like I said, it's like a cancer and it can spread and shut down my system. And everybody knows that you need your lymph nodes because your lymph nodes are what helps you with your immune system and helps you fight off colds and helps you do all that stuff. So if I get sick, I'm going to get sick <laughs> and it's going to take my body a little bit longer to get over something and it's going to suck because it might not be good to where I can't get over it. Um, but I'm just going to pray that that does not happen and help my immune system by sticking uh, with my diet. I'm actually going to clean up my diet a little bit more uh, because I did take out the pastas and things like that. Um, but I didn't take out all the sweets. Like I still like the, the little ice cream bars. So I'm going to stop eating the ice cream bars. I stopped eating the Oreo cookies. I stopped like all of that stuff. Um, so I just need to clean it up just a little bit more. Um, pasta wise, I quit eating all the pasta. Um, I ended up eating, um, French bread, but wheat. And they say that that's good, but I still want to take out the bread. Um, even though it's a vegan, doesn't mean it's healthy. <laughs> um, so I'm going to full, uh, fully take out the bread and the wheat, I mean the bread and that stuff and try um, my pastas for like the chickpea and stuff, but then try and see if I can get it gluten free. Um, so I'm going to try that for a while, um, but I am going to be taking all of that stuff out. Um, and strictly going to be on vegetables and uh, juicing and my fruit. That's going to be my main source. And I also had to start taking out salt because my left leg started swelling up when I eat salt. And that's like any kind of salt. So it's like, dang. So, yeah. So it's just like, God. And I know, like, I already went through the crying spell because I thought it was cancer. And I was like, I'd rather have it be sarcoidosis. But sarcoidosis, like I keep saying, is like a form of cancer. And it eats at your body. And it weakens your immune system. And some people that do not take care of themselves, and even if they do try to take care of themselves, don't last very long. Um, I was reading up on, like, survival rates and stuff like that. And it's pretty good, but there is though that percent, um, depending on where the sarcoidosis is and how harsh it is and how bad you got it, um, you don't last very long. Um, it shuts down all of your organs and it can even attack your heart and you go into heart failure and it will kill you. Um, so I am hoping I am not one of those. I am going to try my hardest to keep my organs going as long as possible <laughs> and I'm gonna hope that I go into remission so I'm gonna stay positive I am going to try my hardest and um, since I have it just in my lymph nodes and my lymph nodes are shrinking and it seems to be getting smaller for what for whatever I'm doing my diet and things like that um, I might not need the chemo or the steroid treatments except for maybe with the breathing help with some of the breathing because they're getting um, there's one of them that is really large like I had told you guys in my last video and it's pressing against my windpipe um, she said it has gone down a little bit so that's good um, but I might not even need the treatment and I could go that route of not even having the treatment and see if it keeps shrinking on its own and if it goes into remission on its own and hopefully it does not spread. That is well, the most thing that I am worried about is it spreading, which sucks. Um, but that's what I was saying though. So we did our research and things like that and peeps, um, people don't seem to last very long on it and they do end up dying from it. Um, depending on where it is and what it is all that great stuff so yeah so 
and it makes you very tired. I have had the side effects from it, but I just push through it um, because of my diet and me exercising. That helps tremendously, tremendously. Like the side effects of the tiredness, the dizziness, the wanting to pass out, the fainting, the eating, all of that stuff. Yeah, I have all of that, but I just push through it and try not to let it overtake that and like the panic attacks and all of that because of everything yeah like it's better and it has passed and I have got the agoraphobia under control to where um, I'm no longer scared to go out into public and have a panic attack because I got them under control thank goodness <laughs> and um, once I'm able that once this is all cleared up and I'm able to breathe again normally because this is actually kind of swollen right now and I'm having a hard time breathing and swallowing a little bit um, but, but it's normal because I just had the surgery like two days ago um, <coughs> um, I'm gonna go back to the YMCA and do my classes because those classes are what helped me get through my panic attacks and helped me get through everything and being around all those people and the support and everything is what helped me. And I need that back because those classes, like the Zumba and the Mix Fit classes and stuff like that, were like my therapy. <laughs> and I'm gonna need it now. Um, so yeah, so I go next week and we are, I'm gonna be talking to the specialist and I, um, a lot of, everybody keeps telling me that I need to go get my eyes and stuff checked because my, as you guys know, my eyesight has been getting really bad and that could be part from the sarcoidosis. So that is what we, <laughs> I'm also going to be doing. Uh, and just hopefully it's not in my eyes and it's just from the pregnancies because it seemed with every pregnancy, <clears throat> my eyes would get worse and worse so that's what I'm hoping it is and I'm good to go <laughs> so that is my update and then um, <clears throat> I will be putting up a couple of more videos um, I'm not sure what yet but <laughs> we will do it I will do it um, you guys will probably go to my appointment with me um, I'm picking up I have to go to the GNC right now because I need to pick up some uh, raw vegan protein shake powder uh, for myself uh, because like you guys know vegan so I gotta have protein and I absolutely love this protein powder I put it in my shakes in the morning and let's see what else oh so I'm starting to do a juicing cleanse to help my liver uh, because um, it has some fatty deposit it says it's starting to keep in fat or something like that so which means it's not working properly um, and I have some kidney stones so I'm doing a juicing cleanse um, to help kind of cleanse that out and kind of I'm gonna try and help my liver and my kidneys basically is what I'm uh, trying to do and then um, somebody had mentioned I should go and get a coffee enema because that helps too. But they're like, get a colonic first because it'll unpack everything and do all that. So I want to go and do that, but I do need, you do have to have a prescription to do the coffee enema. And since I have sarcardosis, it's a must. So um, I had an appointment set for this weekend to go do the um, colonic and the coffee enema just to get my system cleaned out and get it all good and get to my liver so that way my liver can process things better and get it unclogged and just you know if there's anything in there that needs to come out because when I became vegan I did not cleanse my body I just went straight vegan because I was vegetarian and I would only eat chicken every now and then so and I've been like that my entire life so I just went straight vegan. I was like, and didn't buy, I didn't cleanse my body, didn't do anything. I just went vegan. <laughs> so um, I think my body needs a good cleaning. <laughs> so yeah. So I'm gonna do that um, after I see my doctor. So I put that on hold until after I see my doctor and get a prescription that saying that it is okay for me to do it, even with my sarcoidosis. Um, so yeah, 
like right now I'm actually on my way to the store because I have to uh, get some chicken feed and um, a couple of things for the house uh, before I head over to the food bank to help at the food bank and get that stuff done. Sorry, trying not to cough. And that is one of the things too, is I have a consistent light cough now that's just like for no reason, but that's part of the sarcoidosis. Um, and it also too can attack your brain, I found out. So I'm just like, shoot, like it. It's freaking cancerous, man, it's crazy. So there really was no like, oh, which one would you rather have? Like I was saying in my other video, which one would I rather have? They're practically the same. <laughs> they are the same thing, cancerous. So, and I'm, I just, oh, I just hope that my body keeps going into remission and shrinking them down like it is doing now. So whatever my body is doing, whatever I am doing, I just want it to keep happening. <laughs> losing weight and keep trying to fix me because <laughs> I ain't trying to die <laughs> not anytime soon <laughs> so um and I know that this is like a kind of a you know eight kids going to be dealing with something like this um we I am going to be putting together a will and I am going to be uh doing that with my husband and my husband and my parents already know like my um wishes and what I want done so I'm not um worried about that but I just want to have a will on hand and just be ready in that aspect and kind of get my ducks in a row in that aspect uh because like I said um I could totally be fine but it could totally just ravage me um, and ravage my body um, <clears throat> and take me down um, and I'm just hoping that does not happen <laughs> we're praying that don't happen okay but I just want to have all my ducks in a row and just be cautious and be safe so uh, we're gonna get my will brought up we're gonna put a will together and things like that and, uh, I'm gonna make sure my parents have a copy his parents my husband and my ex uh, because my ex-husband and I have five children together. Uh, we were together a little over 10 years and married. Um, so it's just some things that I have been thinking about since uh, this first started. And it's just something that has to be done. <laughs> so yeah, so that is my update. I know that one was kind of like and you know kind of like uh, but it has to be done and you know I'm not looking at it as a bad thing right now because I am going to stay positive I'm a positive person regardless of anything I see the sun at the end of every storm like there could be a storm right in front of my face and I will find that little light somewhere like I'm like oh there you are and I'm good so, you know, and even if there is no light, I will be my own light. I will light my way and go through it. And that is exactly what I'm going to do because I'm too much of a happy person. I'm too much of a positive person to let this do, to let this do anything to me. Like, just to let it bring me down. It's not going to happen. And plus, if, you know, if I couldn't handle it or, if, or if something, you, you know what I mean? The gods or God or whoever wouldn't have put it upon me. So, and I'm a very grateful person for life. I absolutely adore my life. I adore the life I have been blessed with. And I wouldn't change it. <laughs> I wouldn't change it. Um, so, yeah. That is my update, you guys. I know I gotta end this video because I'm almost about ready to pull up. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, I will talk to you guys later. And then... Um, let you guys know what's gonna be going on so yeah so that's my update you guys I'm about to pull up so I'll talk to you guys later I hope you guys are doing great